as much as it's hard to say it, I don't know if I've ever had anyone specifically reach out to me as being a military kid. When you move to a new place, trying to stay focused is like a big, is, a, is pretty hard because um, there's so much going on, you know, you've been scrambled. So I think when you've been picked up and like uprooted and brought to this new place, it's to stay focused, you really need to think about like where you, where you did come from. So um, where you, maybe where you came from, you had those friends and you had that sense of place. I face um, mainly my dad being away for long periods of time and I just feel like I should be tougher like him. We don't want to be coddled or treated as anything, you know, less or needing more help. Just, we just want to be understood that we may not have had the proper preparation for something or we may be lacking something or we may be trying our absolute best to fit in and it just might not be enough. I remember when I did move to Hawaii, um, I moved there, I ended up missing like a month and a half before I could even get enrolled in school. So not only was I moving into a new school, you know, for like the first time, meeting all these new people, I was also coming in like, uh, like a month and a half late. So everyone had already kind of made their friends, you know, and I was just like the new kid coming in. And um, I think my, my teacher was really, um, I don't know, really kind of understanding, like she would do a lot of things one-on-one -on -one with me and she would like, once she finished giving directions to the entire class, she would always come over and like talk to me personally and be like, hey, is everything going all right with you? Like, because she, I don't know, I guess she kind of understood that maybe things were a little bit different for me. I just want them to know like what my favorite subject is, my name of course, and that I'm a nice kid really. Maybe, I think here has definitely been overall the most inviting experience though, because the teachers are all much more understanding of the predicament that you're in. I know I have a teacher who's done everything in you know, her realm of possibility to make us comfortable and make us successful, which was really helpful coming in, not really knowing where my skills were compared to the kids that I was joining in a class. She helped me with the, the school side of things so that I wasn't like, I'm already worrying about um, having to make friends and you know, fit into this new place and it, it doesn't help at all if I have to also worry about you know, learning what an atom is, you know? So if, if she's there helping me with the school side of things, then it's a lot easier for me to then go ahead and try and you know, find a place for myself. A teacher has, um, she's just been really nice to me, um, tried to get me like into the class, but mainly they've been nice to me. I would say definitely for someone who's like going after you, I would say don't really um, think about the bad things, you know? Like if you're if you're gonna have to move, to, it's, it's sure it's pretty terrible that you're gonna have to leave everyone behind. But I mean, this is gonna happen, so you might as well make the most of it, you know? You might as well, you know, let's say you're moving to a new place. Um, treat that as like a chance to experience some new things and make some new friends that maybe you wouldn't have made before.